it's great to be a part of the Seattle tech community. Applause to all of you for the great support we've received so far. I will talk about two things today, our journey and our product. This, was a, <laughs> this is from a recent TechCrunch article. And uh, this except maybe that our journey, we feel like we're in the battle of the labyrinth, facing minotaurs and ch new challenges every day. So while training for the Seattle Marathon, my co-founder and I were, uh, were trying to figure out what problems could we solve for parents. And we decided to, to, to work on a product that solves, that teaches kids the concepts of money. We thought eventually maybe we, we could become like a PayPal for kids. And uh, we ended up building this. The bird actually poops when the kid takes money off their virtual <laughs> piggy bank. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? Okay. Anyway, so meanwhile, um, okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we actually met, uh, we met with a Techstars mentor who then told us, you know what? You guys need to stop coding. Get out, start talking to parents, do customer development, talk to moms, talk to dads, really find out what the challenges are that, that parents are facing. So guess what? I mean, we were, A, we were just pushed out of our comfort zone. We are, we are coders, we, are, we develop products. We don't go out and ask people, do, uh, we don't ask people what their, their issues are. But guess what we found? We found that, that teaching kids the concepts of finance was not any on the top of any of the parents' issues. However, actually the safety concerns with YouTube and screen time really came up as a major, major concern among all the parents. So I'll ask you one question for the parents here. How many of you have used screen time to bribe your kids? That's not a lot here. <laughs> well, at, at, in our house, we use screen time. I mean, that's the only currency that ever works. <laughs> anyway, so um, the things that we found out is your, your child, is your kids are just three clicks away from adult content. This is from a reputed research agency done from the U UK. And um, meanwhile, um, okay, so, uh, so me and my co-founder, we actually built, we built a, an MVP. I took this MVP and uh, went to a, a, a very simple uh, curated video service for kids. I went to a digital kids conference uh, out in California. I was just walking around with this app. It wasn't even launched in the app store. I was walking around with this app. I had three different sets of people from three different companies approach me and say, you know what, we'd love to partner with you guys. We, we would like to uh, license your technology, uh, co-brand, and integrate with, with, your, with your app. And this was only an, an MVP or demo that we had, start, we had worked on. So this, this was a great uh, beginning. So we then partnered with one, one of the, the companies that, we, that had approached us, who has, who's a, who has a huge worldwide global distribution. And, and after we partnered with them, they even signed a deal with Samsung. And they're, they're going to be on every Samsung device. And this is a kid's app network called Fingerprint. So we then, um, uh, this week, we are actually launching with Fingerprint. We have uh, 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 an app called Watchables, which is, again, uh, an extension of what Magiclix already does. It's a curated video service uh, for kids with both educational and fun content. And um, uh, we are also planning to go really big scale and go global. We have, um, other than the fingerprint partnership, which also helps fund our company right now, we um, are also talking to tablet manufacturers. We are uh, ready to uh, getting ready to announce a deal with uh, uh, a, tablet a kid's tablet manufacturer based out of Europe, and we are going to come preloaded in this, in this tablet. We are also talking to several other app networks who are global, based out of Germany, France, uh, Spain, and we're really looking at growing big, growing fast, and on the content side, we're working with uh, several content creators. Uh, we have some um, 
very close by in Portland, there's a, a kids um, a, a math rock, a live action math rock band called The Digits, who's, um, who's our uh, featured content partner. And we also have, we are working with like KidSense, who's, uh, uh, who, who has uh, tiny capsules of news for kids. And we're working with um, content creators in South America, in Chile, in Costa Rica, in, in boop, Malaysia. Boop, boop, boop. And, uh, oh, oops. Okay, I will go, I'm going to do this next. Okay. This is going to be a demo of our product. Questions? questions? Oh, by the way, before questions, I just want to say I have the awesomest team ever. There's Nandini and Sumati. Come on stage. <laughs> it uh, it wouldn't be possible without them. And this is a, this is the team, and this is everything being built out of out of the three of us. <laughs> questions, please. Uh, it's a combination. So, um, A, we actually work with, um, with different kids, indie kids content creators, and then we do have curators, and, uh, the, and we have like a, a, a Montessori teacher who helps us out. So it's a combination of a manual and automated curation process. So uh, right now we support uh, two age groups. It's uh, three to six and 7 through 12. And for 7 through 12, that's where we have like the news chat clips and a slightly different content. Uh, the cost, OK. Right now, since we just launched, it's free. So but we will be a, a, a freemium subscription video on demand service. So we will always have a percentage of our content free. Uh, world domination. <laughs> uh, so we, <laughs> so we want to uh, fill the be, be like a Netflix for kids, but for edutainment content and across different devices. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so, so this is uh, the feedback we got, that the kids are anyway spending time on their devices. Here, it's, it's both educational and it's fun. And you get to control it. So as I said, uh, the timer concept we introduced, because I used to set the kitchen timer for my daughter. So, so now you have a timer in your app. And she knows now when the timer goes off, she's going to just give the iPad back to me. One more question. Okay, uh, so there are two parts to the, to the question. So the rating of the content, not yet. We, do, we would want to do that. But the recommending, we have a lot of COPPA rules that we have to abide by at this point. So based on those, the social sharing between kids is not necessarily, yeah, we, 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 we are looking at it, but it will be based on the COPPA rules, which are very strict. Ladies and gentlemen, Magic Flicks.